Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this little cottage with a sea in the background, a fence, and some hydrangeas here in the foreground. We're going to have a really moody, dramatic sky, and I'm just going to jump in and get started. First, go over the colors and the size of the canvas. 8x10, double primed and stretched. Light blue violet, dioxazine purple, blue turquoise and green, titanium white, neon orange, neon yellow cool, light olive green. So what I'm going to do first is take a little bit of water and my number 30 filbert brush. I'm just going to wet the canvas down just enough that it's a little bit slick and will help spread my acrylics out of my brush a lot easier. Don't add too much water or you're going to thin your acrylics too much and they're going to be too watered down. Okay, so I'm going to start off with dioxazine purple at the top. Brush back and forth, side to side. Nice long sweeping strokes. Next color, light blue violet without washing my brush off. I'm going to apply it partially over top of where I just left off with the purple. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my turquoise blue, add some right back here for the horizon, a little bit of turquoise green, pull that right over top and then right into the white for some soft highlights. And I'll just work all of that out of my brush. We're going to be coming over top of all of this anyways, but it's nice to have a few other colors underneath. That always makes for interesting um, colors when you add different ones over top. You can make new ones and alter those. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of white and a little bit of my yellow cool. And I'm going to start going over where we're gonna have a little bit of grass. Pick up just a little bit of light olive green and the cool. And we'll just add a little bit here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take my purple, add along down here along the bottom, just start layering over. I'm going to start coming up diagonally like this, and then kind of start to pull back over here. Then, turning my brush like this, slide. Just to create the beginning stages of the path. I'm gonna go over the corner of the canvas, top right here, with little soft scoops, somewhat crisscrossing, and then Kind of wiggle to get that nice flat shape back again. And you can see you get a little bit of paint out of your brush when you do that. I'm going to add the horizon line right here over top of the water. I'm going to wash this brush out. And I'm going to go right over to my oval one inch mop brush. I'm going to tap in to my olive green and go over top of my dioxazine purple. All the way up the side of the path and then just a little bit as it gets farther away and then work out that color 
on our path. A little bit more here. Get the rest of that yellow without washing my brush off. And add this on the grass. On this side, so you look the path and it starts to get kind of blurry. I'm going to wash that brush out and I'm going to go down to a smaller brush now. This is um, number four Filbert. And without getting my brush wet, I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of neon orange right above the horizon line. I'm going to start to add just a line first, right above that purple that we added. Okay, so again, we've got the path here, just so that you guys know what everything is. This is going to be the path. This is going to be our hydrangea bush. We're going to add some fence posts in here. This is the grass, the path coming off back here, and we're going to have a little cottage right about here. So I'm just adding some little streaks in here for a sunset, starting off with lines back and forth like that. I'm going to reload my brush, no water on my brush, and start making these, creating these little scoops on an angle slanted like this, and then I'm going to come and just start to change the direction. And then as they get further away towards either side edge of the canvas, we're going to make them those scoops a little bit bigger, well, a lot bigger. That's going to help create that perspective. A little bit more white this time. And we'll just go over some of those. Don't forget to reload your brush because you don't want to have to push too hard. I'm going to dab that color on and then not over blend and then smaller and smaller and smaller. So tighter together. A little bit more white, always tinted a little bit, right, with that neon orange. And then I'll take some purple without washing my brush off, so it's kind of mixing in making a smoky purple color now. And we'll add a few other little scoops and soften some of these clouds. I'm gonna go back over to the orange, a little bit of purple, white, get those smoky tones again. Just add little hints of it in the water. I'm going to add some here along the path. So the path is getting farther away, leading up to our house. And obviously it goes around a corner there off the canvas and we can't see it. So if we take a little bit of white with our orange and a little bit of purple, we can get a really pretty color for the light hitting our path. Plus we have all those other colors underneath, remember? Now to prevent it from looking like stairs, now stairs could work, but um, 
for this painting I want it to look like a path so I'm going to add a little bit of a scoop and then some shadows so just kind of wiggling in this way and out that way tight little wiggles notice how I'm traveling with the brush rather than letting off and then putting it there letting it off and bolder more paint and contrast here in the foreground and it gets lighter and lighter back there but just for fun I'm going to mix these two colors here such a gorgeous gorgeous color blue turquoise and purple I'm gonna add a little bit up here and rinse my brush off it's just a little bit damp A little bit of dampness in the brush helps to soften and blend. So I'm just slightly blending out that blue and purple. I'm going to come underneath a little bit of blue violet and that. I don't want to have too, too, too much paint in my brush. And I'm just going to add little dabs of it right underneath those bright, bright highlights. Just so kind of gradually gets lighter and lighter until we get down here. Now a little bit of blue violet. And in the center here, I'm going to create a little bit of a powdery, powdery, look over top of some of that blue and purple. Then with a clean brush, orange, purple, and white. A few more little scoops here just to soften. There, then you get more of a layered look. Now I like this, this color that we've made here with the purple, white, and orange. I'm going to add a little bit more. Applying it the same way, wiggling back here, over here. Traveling. Traveling around with a brush. Don't be afraid to use pretty colors for your paths. I think a lot of people are stuck thinking that a path has to be brown, you know, or just really dark or all really light. Play around with your shadow and highlight colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna start working on my fence and I'm gonna take some white. And so this, this bush is going to be kind of spilling over. And our first fence posts come right here. It's going to start out taller because it's closer to us, creating that foreground. We want to feel like we're, in, we're getting invited into this painting. And Another one on the side there. And we could have this little board that's going to be connecting. We could paint that first. We'll just curve and pull over, and then it's just going to disappear.
Okay, that's those colors again. Any white, like white tinted with whatever you want. Now they're going to get shorter and closer together. Just little lines until they disappear. You want to feel sunlight peeking through. The sun's coming in this way, so you're going to see the light on more on the left side. If you want, you can add a little bit more. And then you can also add shadows. So you can take a dark color. I'm just using purple. I'm going to take a little bit more of my yellow and white. And not push too hard. I want to create some sort of a, a wood-like pattern. In the past, I've used my Wisp Filbert or Wisp Fan brushes, and you get a really neat effect with those. All right, so it's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller until we can't even see it anymore. start painting our little house now. I'm going to switch over to a flat brush. I've got this teeny tiny little number four flat brush and I'm going to use purple and orange. And I think we'll have, maybe we'll have our, our house facing this way. So we'll add two little lines on a slant about half an inch or an inch and then we'll make the roof line a little bit wider and then add a little line that goes down here you want to paint it in I'm using dark colors first so that our light shows up. It'll give our image, it'll just make it look more 3D. Take a little bit more purple here and just outline, and then add a shadow under the roof line. We'll have a little chimney back there. The next thing I want to do is take my peach color along with that purple that's left in my brush 
I'm just gonna place my pinky here. And just pull down. And a little bit more white. You can kind of go like this too. Kind of do little taps and dabs if you want it to look like it's shingles. And add a little bit more to the chimney. over to a larger flat brush now this one is uh, number 10 and I'm going to take my blue violet light blue violet and I'm going to pull from one end underneath that roof line for a shadow on that side of the house and a little bit on the chimney Then I'm going to take white and I'm going to pull, pull, then as it gets in narrower, just use the corner of your brush. And back over to that purple, a little bit of orange. Add that roof line again. A little bit more of a shadow right under there. And just a few little dabs on the roof and we can add some windows, a little bit of purple, a little push and dab with our brush. Little window here, another little window there. Maybe one up top. A little bit of green in with the purple and we're just gonna tuck this house in add some bushes back there and out front here and a little bit more green Little shadow, just pull. So I think that we could add some blue turquoise, maybe some both turquoise colors for a little bit of trim around the door and the windows. I'm I've gone down to my um, smaller flat brush here. A little bit of color there along the side. A little bit of purple.
I think it would be nice to take a number three round brush or liner brush, white, and a little bit of that neon orange. Such a cozy color for creating light. And I'm just going to add two little dabs inside the door and then a little bit. Let it look like somebody's home. We'll add a little bit. Dab, dab, dab. And then I'll add a little front step here. Add some stairs that go down. Maybe dab a little bit of light reflecting from the house and the grass. Maybe a little bit here on these bushes. And then I'll take some purple. And go underneath each step. A little bit of purple, blue, green. And let's just add some more. Some more little bushes here. just a little bit of maybe a little bit of smoke a bit of white tiniest bit of water on my brush take a little bit more of the peach color that I made I'm going to come inside this roof line bit of blue violet purple a little bit of turquoise maybe outline these windows a little bit more there's a purple got a line in there I mean you really don't have to add all these little lines and and dabs it's up to you How much detail you want, of course. And while I've got this color handy here, I'm going to take it with a clean round brush. Add a little bit more light on the path and some of those fence boards. water very thin layer this painting kind of has that feel like getting close to the end of summer smoke my chimney show up just a little bit more there and right into my purple just make a few of these boards these fence boards stand out a little bit more here 
give us a little bit more detail in the foreground. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of my small mop brushes and a little bit of blue violet, a little bit of purple, and I'm going to tap in some hydrangea bushes here. blue, turquoise, purple, and I'll have little balls, hydrangea balls coming through the fence like this, then tap, tap, tap into that light blue violet where the light would be hitting, right? This side's going to be a little bit more in shadow. And we could have a big one. So I'm just coming over and spilling over the fence here and then smaller and smaller. But notice how I'm going kind of staggering it so that they're different everywhere, different heights. So it makes it a little bit more less of a pattern. And a little bit of white. And maybe another one on this side. Right there, and then just a little bit of a highlight. A little bit of white. And then a little bit darker. We want to have those shadows. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my smallest flat brush. You can use a small, small filbert brush for this too if you want. And I'm going to create some um, hydrangea leaves. So I'm going to take turquoise blue with my olive green. Maybe a little bit of purple in there to tone it. 
tone that color a little bit. Push gently and twist. Twist, twist. Some down at the bottom coming through. And then a little bit of light. Pull in, pull, pull, pull. Just a little pull and twist. Don't make it any more complicated than it needs to be, guys. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to scumble out here a few little shadows. color tap 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 some lighter areas on these hydrangeas see a little bit of that orange in there looks nice because you get some some of the petals have a little muted tinge to them So I'm not adding this, these highlights everywhere, right? Just where you want to have your light source hitting them. This side's more on shadow or more in shadow. So we've got some light peeking through and probably from above. I'm going to come in here and just adjust that a little bit. The roof line is it's a little messy looking right there. So just tidy that up. Take a little bit more white and orange. Work out any other colors that are kind of making their way up there in my brush. a little bit of light. Teeny bit here and there. Mix that peach with a little bit of purple. And add a little hint of that within the path. And see how it just stops? The dark purple stops right here. I want to make this a little bit more gradual.
just a few more dabs of the purple. And a little bit of blue. Dab, 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 dab. A little bit of purple. Come off the end of the house a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to call this painting all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye, everybody.